Hello everyone, Mr Gear here. This week we're going to be practicing our counting. Now in this lesson all you're going to need is your brain. Oh wait, hold on a minute. Better make sure my brain's on. You better make sure yours is on too. I'll give you five seconds to put your brain on. Five, four, three, two, one. Make sure it's on nice and tight. There we go, good. So you'll need your brain, which is now tight, and you'll also need your fingers. You shouldn't need anything else. Now, as we're practicing our counting, I thought the first thing we should do is we should do some counting. So we are going to go up to 10 all together, and then we're going to go back down from 10 as well. If you get stuck, don't worry, just wait a second and then join in where you know with me. Ready? Let's do it with our fingers as well. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to go down from ten. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's do it one more time. Let's see if we can do it a little bit quicker this time. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back down again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Zero. Fantastic. Very well done. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Good job. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to play a game called I Count, You Count. Okay? I count, you count. So here's how it's going to work. When I'm pointing at myself, I'm going to start counting. When I then point to you, I need you to continue counting. Okay? I'll give you an example. One, two, five, six. Did you get it? So when I said one, two, I pointed at you and you needed to say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. We're only going to go up to ten. Let's see if you can get this one, okay? Now, I'm going to nod my head to, so that you know each time to say a number, okay? Ready? One, three, five, seven, nine. Did you get to ten? I really hope you did. Let's try one more time. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Did you get to ten as well? That's good, because that's what I got to. So, by doing this, we don't actually need to always start counting from zero or from number one, do we? If you know the number that already comes, you know which number's going to be next, don't you? So, for example, when I go one, two, do you know that three comes next? Now, I want you to play this game with somebody in your house. Now, it doesn't have to be you and one other person. It can be you with two other people or three other people. All you need is a pointy finger. A pointy finger, which I'm sure you've all got. And you can play this game at home. So, you can point to yourself and you can go one, two, Point to somebody else and they've got to keep counting after what you've said. Now I've only gone up to 10 today but if you think that you can go higher than 10 then go for it. Let's see how high you can go before you start getting stuck. I'd love to see a video of you doing this either on Tapestry or you can email it to us. That's challenge number one. Now challenge number two is this. Now we're going to be using our fingers a little bit more. Okay. Now, can you please all show me five? Show me five on your fingers. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, it should look like this. Let's check and make sure we've got five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Absolutely. We've got five and all our fingers are up nicely. Now, if I do this, you know straight away that we've got five. However, now... Can you show me this? Okay. How many am I holding up? Keep it in your head. How many am I holding up? 
Now shout it out so I can hear you nice and loud. Yeah, that's right. I've got seven. Now let's count and make sure, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you're right. I have got seven. However, did I need to count all of these? Did I? I already know that this is five. So if I know that this is five, I can start counting with five when I'm counting all of these. So I can know that this is five, then next comes six, seven. Five, six, seven. So you know that this is five, you start counting with the next number. Let's try it again. Okay, hold up five. You know there's five. This time we're going to add another one. How many have you got? Shout it out so I can hear you. Yeah, you've got six. Now, how many of you did it without counting all of these fingers? I hope you did. How many are here? We've got five, six. Five, six. There we go. We don't need to count all of our fingers because we know we've got five. Last one. Got five. Let's add these. So, how many have we got? I'll give you a minute. Okay, shout it out. How many have we got? Well, we'd better check, hadn't we? Do I need to count all of the ones on this hand? No, I don't. I know that I have got five. So I can start counting from five. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine in total. So your second challenge today is to play this game with an adult. So you hold up five and they're going to challenge you to hold up up to five on your other hand. And you've got to work out as quickly as you can how many fingers you've got. Remember, you know that there's five here. You just start counting from the next number. Let's have a recap. Challenge number one is to play I count, you count. One, two, five, six, nine, ten. And go as high as you can with an adult or with your brothers or sisters or with your nans and granddads, any of them. And you can play with more than one person at a time. Your second challenge is five, six, seven, eight. See if you can work by counting on from five. Five, six, seven, eight. I hope to see all of your work on Tapestry or you can email it to us. See you soon.